I am with the coach, Mike Zimmer. Coach, uh, you are six and seven now, uh, still in the hunt, as they say mathematically. You played good enough in many, many ways. What did you tell your guys? So I'm proud of the effort that they gave. We did some things that uh, that we, uh, you know, put ourselves in tough situation there toward the end. But uh, you know, these guys fight. Uh, we didn't quite get it done today, but uh, I, I think we're getting better each week. You know, and you're still in this thing. You know, if you can, I know you got some people banged up today, Boyd O'Neill. You, you know, you played without Eric Kendricks today for the second week in a row. Uh, talk about the play of your linebackers without Eric. Yeah, you know, it's it, it's hard for me to say, Greg. Um, you know, watching all the things that go on, so uh, I'm I'm sure they did fine. I didn't notice anything anything real bad. Dalvin Cook, the first back to go over, you know, to rush for more than 100 yards, had 102 and a touchdown against his Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay defense. That's the first time that this has been done this since last year. Yeah, you know, I thought we ran the ball well today. Uh, you know, Dalvin ran hard. We had some uh, some good uh, good blocking up front. I thought the offensive line did a nice job and the tight ends and. Um, you know, it, it was a little unfortunate that we weren't able to run it a little bit more in, in the second half. You mentioned the tight ends. Tyler Conklin comes in for Rudy, has a solid game. Irv Smith Jr. back out, uh, four catches for 60-plus yards. Your tight ends were very active today. Yeah, it was good. They were doing. They were doubling the receivers a lot, uh, Adam and, and, uh, and uh, Justin. So we had to... Had to move the move the ball to the inside a little bit today, so that was, that was, I thought they did well. Uh, Coach, it was a tough day for your kicker, Dan Bailey. You left a lot of points out there um, last several weeks. What have you seen? Yeah, first one he pulled left, and let, next next three he uh, pushed to the right. So um, you know it's disappointing. Okay, um, six sacks. You know I know that's unacceptable, but when you are you know, prone to throw the pats and uh, Tampa Bay knowing they pin their ears back. Uh, six sacks, that's the first time that's happened in quite some time. Yeah, you know, we were we were trying to get the ball down the field vertically a few times, and so, uh, you know, they had a couple overload blitzes that they ran. Okay. Coach, last, last couple before we let you go. I mean, uh, how do you tell Harrison, Harrison Smith to play the play game, to play football? I mean, I, I don't understand – uh, and I know that you had a conversation with the official uh, about that particular play. It seems like every week or every other week, Harry is getting called for that lower in the helmet. I, I, he's he's got to protect himself some kind of way. If if you can say that conversation with the official, what explanation did he give? Uh, he asked if I thought it was a bad call, and I said yes. Okay. Coach, next week you got uh, the final home game back at U.S. Bank Stadium against the Bears. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you, you know, you go on a run, anything can happen mathematically. Uh, We've got to get this next one uh, for the Bears. I know it's a tough one. Long ride home. Um, let's yeah, go Greg, get it we're not next worried week. about math. Any, we're, not, we're not worried about anything mathematically. We're just we're just going to try to go win, beat the Bears. That's all. And then we'll let it all play out. We're not we're not into all this mathematics stuff right now. All right, Coach. Thanks a lot for your time. All right. Thank you. That's it, Coach Mike Zimmer. Uh, must, uh, obviously.